it's Krista of Botanical Bird and today I want to do my part two of my grow light series <laughs> and just kind of show you take you on a grow light tour in my house and show you kind of the grow light setup that I have last week I installed a couple of different grow lights with you guys but that doesn't include all my grow lights so I'd like to just take you around and show you what I have I have grow lights here in the living room in our puzzle room, which I think is supposed to be a formal dining room, but it's our puzzle room. The kitchen, our guest bedroom, my bedroom, and then the plant room slash game room. <laughs> so I think we pretty much have grow lights in all spaces. Anyway, let's get started. Ta-da! So we are here in my living room, and this is just like a built-in shelf that we have. These were one of the sets of grow lights that I installed with you guys in our last video. So if you're on YouTube, I'm going to put that up in the cards. And if you're on Instagram, I will put the link below just so if you guys want to watch the process of installation, you can see that too. So these are T5 LED full spectrum grow lights. When I say full spectrum, that means that they have all the different types of light that the sun does, except this is obviously higher in like red or blue light because it kind of comes out more pinky purple. And the reason that is, is because red and blue are the two colors of light that are most efficient at photosynthesis. So you'll see a lot of grow lights that are those colors. I personally prefer white light aesthetically. So it's full spectrum, but I think maybe the manufacturers put more red or blue light. But the reason that I have these here is they are under the shelf grow lights. My idea for grow lights in my space is that I want them to be as natural looking as possible. Like I don't want a ton of cords hanging around. I want it to seem like just normal light and like as natural as possible. So instead of having something kind of shining like up above, shining down, or like hanging off of it or something in front of them, I wanted something just like under the shelves so that one, the plants would be closer to the light, but then two, it would hopefully look more aesthetically pleasing. And so I used 3M hooks to kind of hide the cords and it just has a switch right here on and off. And I, that's, not, that's not on a timer. I just come by once in the morning and once at night and just flip the switch for about 12 hours of light. So I have these lights here in the living room. I'll take you to the kitchen. And then I also have them in our plant room. But before we leave this room, I need to show you another grow light that I have in here. All right, so up here on the ceiling, we have a light fixture that was already there. And so I just hopped up on a ladder and took out the old bulb and put it in a new bulb for a full spectrum light bulb. And it's nice because this one's just straight up white light and hopefully it's giving these plants on the mantle and these ones below a little bit more loving. And I'll be putting the names of all of these different types of light bulbs that I searched, like the Amazon search, I'll be putting on the screen here and I'll be linking them below in case you'd also like to purchase them. So I think this was one of the easiest fixes and I felt like a genius because I was working smarter and not harder, just using what was already around and then just trying to make it work for plants. I should have mentioned, I have the box for the light that's in the living room. This one is a GE Grow Light. It says it's for seeds and green. And the wattage, I've read that like the wattage doesn't really mean anything or the lumens don't really mean anything because that's not how we measure light for plants. But I guess just if you're trying to get this exact light, knowing the wattage or the lumens or whatever's listed on the box could be important just for you to know that you're getting the same light. I don't know. All right. And I kind of just want to show you the big picture of what the grow lights look like. So this one up here is a grow light. The one in our main fixture is not. But then over there at the cabinets are my other grow lights. Okay, so this is one of the coolest planty corners I think of our house. And you can't see it right now, but above us is hanging a Soltec Solutions pendant aspect light. And I think I got the large one because I knew I was gonna wanna illuminate this large space. And really it started out for this philodendron hope. I didn't really know where to put it in my house and it's like a pretty big statement plant. And so I wanted somewhere to be able to put it where I got adequate light. But then I just started adding more and more plants. And so this is a formal dining room, but for us, it's our puzzle room. And so the whole corner just kind of ended up being for plants. <laughs> and 
The awesome thing about the aspect light is that it comes with a timer. And so we hung it up, we plugged it in the wall, and then it already came with a wall timer. And so I just set it once again for 12 hours on, 12 hours off. And so I never have to think about turning this light on. Although, so as much of a pain in the booty, I think it is to turn the lights on every day for the lights that aren't on timers. I think of it every morning as like waking up the house or waking up the plants, which I think is pretty cute. <laughs> so this one light that I have provides a light for all of the plants I have here. So now I'm going to flip the camera so you can see what it actually looks like. There it is in all its glory. That one, not the main one right here. <laughs> um, but so it's just the singular light and it comes with all the things you need to install it. It came with those hooks and the pins to hang it up and we haven't had any issues. The light is a little bit heavy, but nothing has even started to look like it's going to fall. Pardon the weird textures of my walls. It's an old house and I think it was it was a vibe back in the day. That is definitely the most expensive grow light I have. It was a gift from my boyfriend. So thank you, Nicholas. Um, and thus far, I really loved it. I definitely want to get more of their lights. They're just pretty expensive. And so I have to save up, but they're really high quality. And there are only amazing reviews from them online. And my experience, they were super awesome to deal with. Ta-da! We're in the kitchen now. And this is just the same setup as what we saw in the living room. So same purpose, I just wanted something simple that could be kind of hidden. And we have all these great built-in shelves that are pretty tall. And so I was like, you know what? We can put plants there. <laughs> so I just ordered an eight pack of the same sort of light and they just are all around my house that you'll be seeing. For the other one, I had to run an extension cord to an outlet, but this one has an outlet right nearby. And so that worked out super well. And I just come by and I just switch them on or off depending on the time of day. And actually there's another grow light in here that I wanna show you. All right, so similar to in my living room, the light above the kitchen sink, I just saw it as an opportunity for more plant light. <laughs> I love the idea of plants in front of a kitchen sink. But unfortunately, this is not west or south facing or anything. So I knew that these plants weren't going to get a whole ton of light. So one, I tried to choose some lower light plants. But then two, I figured I could augment the light with the grow light. So for this one, I got a couple of these, these bulbs. Let me, ugh, kind of hard to see with the light there. It's Miracle LED Absolute Daylight Spectrum Grow Light. I just got a couple of them popped out the old bulbs in the light fixture and popped these in there. So super simple, very cost effective, and I feel awesome knowing that when this light is on, it's actually doing something for my plants. All right, so doing a quick sweep of the kitchen. Above the sink is the singular fixture grow light. And then coming around to the cabinet is where you see our other grow lights, the one under the shelves. All right, so welcome to my plant room. We're in a very specific corner. This cabinet should look familiar. It's my propagation station. <laughs> so on the top, I have a bunch of propagations. They're all in humidity bags, AKA Ziploc bags, just to increase the humidity a little bit. So they're not cute, but when they become more able to stand on their own, they'll be potted up and taken out of the bag. <laughs> um, but I want to give them all the babying they can get right now just because I'm trying to create life, you know? And down here are just some plants that are either just kind of tall or we're not doing well where I used to have them. <laughs> like my bear paw succulent was just not getting enough light where it was and so I had to move it here. But I installed the grow lights. This is the These were the first grow lights um, of the under the shelf kind that I installed. So let me show you what it looks like with the light turned on. Ta-da! So super pink, super purple, but that's what it looks like. <laughs> and I'm gone most of the day at work anyway. I work 10 hour days and so I don't see it a lot. And if it helps my plants, I'm all for it. And now I'm gonna turn you to show you the very first sort of grow light that I brought into my house. It's not as cute, <laughs> but it was a lot more cost effective and it did the job. All right, so these puppies were the first grow lights I got. <laughs> they clip on, which is nice, except the clip isn't all that strong for how heavy the heads of the lights are. And so I was very limited in where I could put them. 
They have timers, which are very nice. So I don't have to come and turn these lights on and off. I just set them for 12 hours on, 12 hours off, and it's done. They unfortunately are also kind of purple, so not my favorite aesthetic, but they get the job done. And so here they're keeping all of these plants on my plant shelf happy. And I'm very grateful for them. I'm still like phase these out, I think, because I just don't really like how they look. <laughs> They're like big spiders. And so maybe I'll be getting more under the shelf lights. I'm not quite sure. But I like that these are all just like I have two lights here and it takes care of this whole cabinet. I think that's nice. But I just don't think they look all that great. But they were like $40 or something. All right, so here's the sweep of the plant room slash Nicholas's computer room. Those are all my plant shelves. And then sweeping around, I have my propagation cabinet with a dying plant in the back. <laughs> Let's move on. Welcome to our guest bedroom. This is my Juhefa Trihead grow light. And it's not my exact favorite. I couldn't do the under the shelf lighting in this little cabinet because the individual like cubicles are too short and so I had to think of something different so I thought of a floor lamp and it's this is our guest bedroom it's not the greatest for guests to have this lamp here so I just move it out of the way when we have guests but I think for day to day it works pretty well I have a lot of succulents in here and so I needed something pretty strong and thus far I think the succulents are liking it and so I just have it plugged into the wall over here and I have the three heads. It can change colors. It can do like the red, purple, bluey light, or it can do more of this yellow light. So I choose the yellow and it's also on a 12 hour timer. And I'll just sweep the room here. This is the only grow light I have in here because this room gets probably the best light in the whole house. I would say maybe because it has a window out to our courtyard right there. And so I have more succulents and I'll be doing a full houseplant tour eventually, but I just haven't gotten to it yet. So this is the guest bedroom and that is our tri head grow light. All right, so we are in the last room of the house that has grow lights, my bedroom. And the only grow lights I have in here are the same kind of bulb that I put in the single light fixture in the kitchen because I just took a normal floor lamp and popped in grow bulbs. I just have these three, actually they're kind of medium to large plants here in the corner and they are obviously not getting any of the low amounts of light that we're getting from our northeast facing windows on the other side of the room. So I just come in in the morning and turn these ones on and off. These don't have a timer because it's just a straight up normal floor lamp, but thus far they seem to be relatively happy and I'll turn on the lights right now just so you can see kind of what it looks like. So pretty bright <laughs> and I think it gives the plants all of the light that they need or at least most of the light that they need and now that that has ruined the light in this video I will turn it back off. <laughs> all right I almost forgot I have a grow light space in progress <laughs> so these are just some floating shelves that Nicholas installed for me and I have them at my old place but my old place had really great natural light and this house does not and so this is kind of my process where like I get something set up and then I'm like, what plants could I put there? And then I think, okay, what sort of light can I give it? What sort of grow light can I give it if needed? And this is an especially tricky spot because it's on the wall. So like, I don't want like a floor lamp because I'd have to stick it right here, right in front of it in our walkway, right? And so I'm like, okay, great. Something has to hang from above. But if I hang it from above, it's just gonna hit like the tops of the plants on top and then not the plants under. And so I think my solution might be to eventually invest in a Soltech Solutions track light, which I hang like in oh, on the ceiling in front and it'll shine like this way. <laughs> but like I said, that their lights are pretty expensive, but like the quality is really high. The thing is, is I just have to save up for it. And so that might be the solution. I'm always trying to think of new things. So if you have any other ideas, please let me know in the comments. <laughs> but this is a soon to be grow light spot. <laughs> All right, so that is it for this video. I hope that you guys liked it, maybe found it helpful, hopefully got a couple of grow light ideas for your own place 
or maybe you have your own grow light setup that you'd like to share with me. I am always open to ideas and suggestions. So if you have any questions or comments about this video or want to share about your grow light setup, please put that in the comments below. And if you like this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's Botanical Bird and bird has a U in it, not an I. And follow my planty Instagram, which is at botanical underscore bird. And remember, I'm rooting for you. Bye.